competence in the clinical skill of subcutaneous injections is demonstrated by uploading 10 videos for review by the course instructor. The technical requirements for these videos include real-time continuous audio and video throughout the clip with no evidence of editing. Additionally, each video uploaded must be accompanied by a signed consent form that includes consent for the student, supervising clinician, and patient or model to appear on video, and for the patient or live model to receive a subcutaneous injection. The signed consent form will include the provider's order for a subcutaneous injection. For example, I have an order to give Reglan 5 mg sub-Q times 1 from Dr. Smith. I've selected a bottle of Reglan labeled 10 mg per 2 ml. I've selected a 5 8 inch 27 gauge needle and a 1 cc lure lock syringe. I've opened an alcohol wipe to clean the med bottle. I've then assembled the needle and the syringe. After a final cleaning of the med bottle stopper, I am withdrawing 1 cc of air into the needle to inject into the med bottle. I am now withdrawing 1 cc of Reglan, which is equal to 5 milligrams. After removing any air from the syringe, I will recap the needle and present to my provider for review. Dr. Smith, please confirm. I have an order for Reglan 5 mg sub Q times 1. I have drawn up 1 cc Reglan 10 mg per 2 ml solution from a multi dose vial for sub Q administration into patient Jane Doe. The provider will confirm that you have prepared the correct amount of the correct medication and instruct the medical assistant to proceed with the injection. The student will introduce him or herself and his or her role as a medical assistant. The student should also identify and introduce the clinical supervisor present for this invasive procedure. The student will explain the procedure to the patient and the steps involved. As part of the initial introduction, the student should confirm the patient or model's understanding of the procedure and elicit their verbal consent to proceed on video. For example, Hello, my name is Joseph. I'm one of the medical assistants here in the clinic today. Can you tell me your name and date of birth? Thank you. Here with me today is my clinical supervisor. His name is Dr. Smith. As you probably know, your provider has ordered a medication called Reglan to be given by sub-Q injection into your upper outer arm. Do you have any allergies to medications? Have you ever had this medication before? Were there any difficulties with this medication in the past? No? Good. Then if you're ready to proceed, I'll ask you to roll up your sleeve on the left side while I wash my hands and get some gloves. This injection will not be unlike other injections you've probably had in the past. I'll clean the area with some alcohol, insert the needle, inject the medicine, withdraw the needle, and briefly apply some pressure with a cotton ball. Any questions? The medical assistant should demonstrate knowledge of infection control standards in patient care by washing hands before and after patient contact and demonstrating the use of gloves in patient care when clinically indicated. For this clinical task, the medical assistant should wash hands with soap and water or use a hand sanitizer prior to the use of clean, non-sterile gloves. It is important for the student to demonstrate his or her knowledge that it takes time for germs to die with both hand washing, hand sanitization, and use of alcohol wipes on patient skin. Don't rush through these important basic skills. While the medical assistant is washing hands, it's a good time to summarize the procedure for the patient and inquire if the patient has any questions or concerns. After patient's questions are answered and with the patient's consent, the medical assistant puts on clean, non-sterile gloves. He or she then verbalizes the area for intended injection, such as upper outer arm. The intended injection site is cleaned with an alcohol wipe in an expanding circular fashion. The needle cap is removed and the needle is inserted at a 45 degree angle into the fatty subcutaneous layer at an appropriate depth. Without attempting to withdraw the syringe plunger, the medication is injected into the fatty subcutaneous layer and the needle removed. The area may be wiped with a cotton ball or 2x2 cotton gauze. A bandage is not usually required for a sub-Q injection. for the back of the arm. Okay, so we're going to inject. Alcohol wipe. Alcohol wipe. Circular wipe. motion. Circular motion, Out, outwards. Mm -hmm. 45 degree angle. 
45 degrees all the way in. The medical assistant safely discards the needle and syringe in a sharps container without recapping the needle. He or she then removes and disposes of gloves and appropriately washes and sanitizes his or her hands. The medical assistant correctly charts the medication, dose, route, site, and patient response. For example, Ms. Jane Doe received Reglan 5 mg by sub-Q injection to left upper outer arm. It was uneventful and well tolerated. Joseph Smith, CMA, 215, 2018, 3.30 p.m.